Well, the Michelin 2014 Chicago Guide is just out, and we have a record 25 restaurants that receive starred ratings. We have Kelly Rizzo with us now, foodie and blogger at Eat Travel Rock. Out.com. That sounds like a fun thing to do, eat, travel, and rock out. They're my three favorite things. <laughs> Kelly, it's good to see you. So let's Thanks talk, for having me. Let's talk about this. So 25 stars up from, from 19. Right. So that's uh, we should be pleased with that, right? We should be. It's a very yeah. good year for Chicago in the four short years that Chicago has been a part of the Michelin Club, yeah, right. which now we're finally able to be a part of it. So, yeah, 25 stars. Right. So New York and, and San Francisco have, have many more restaurants with stars, but we're catching up, right? Exactly. Yeah. We've only been a part of the rating system here for the last four years, since 2010. Got it. Since Michelin started over 100 years ago, and yeah. now we're finally a part of it. Finally recognize the exactly. city as perhaps having things to offer. Okay. So Alinea at the top of the heap again, right? Yep. It's top dog. It's the big daddy. The big three daddy. stars. The only one with three stars. What makes it so special, you think? That one science. Well, Chef Grant Ackett's is just world-renowned now for his molecular, molecular gastronomy and how creative he is and just the story that he brings to the food. And it has been just one of the most famous restaurants in the world, and I think we're very lucky to have it here. And it's clearly very, very well recognized. Absolutely. So, you know, actually how this works, how do they determine, you know, the stars? How often do they dine there? Is it a committee of people? Do you know how that works? It's very, very secret, very hush-hush, oh. Corey. Okay, so right. here's the situation. They have these inspectors, they're called, okay. and they're very undercover. Even people that work at Michelin don't know who these people are. Yeah. And they go in totally anonymously to the restaurants, and they are like chameleons. They totally blend in. They pay for their own bill. Nobody knows who they are, which is good because they're not able to be influenced or bribed in any way to maintain <laughs> the integrity of the process. Right, I get it. You wouldn't put on a special spread because you knew exactly. the guy was coming from Michelin. Okay, exactly. so uh, Grace is getting a lot of buzz and they made the list for the first time, I right? know, that's yeah. who I'm really excited about. Chef Curtis Duffy, such a great guy, brilliant, um, so passionate about his food and it shows up in every single square inch of that entire restaurant. It is just an incredible experience the I mean from the second you walk in to the second you leave it is such an amazing experience and so he deserves it the whole team there deserves it they've done such an incredible job so I'm so happy to see Grace on the list they've only been around for what 11 months or something yeah, I they mean just opened yeah. last December I believe yeah. yeah I went there for friends and family like got time flies yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels like a couple months ago but it's been almost a year oh, Kelly uh, let's get to snubs anybody uh, you, you felt got left off the this list is the juicy one yeah okay. um, Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, next, the restaurant next, um, is one of my favorites that I feel should have been on the list. A lot of people feel this way, too. It's definitely like, how, how can they not put next on the list? There's probably a couple of reasons they feel that because it's a ticketing system, regular, or other than a regular reservation system, people um, feel that that might be the reason why, or because the menu is always changing. But I feel that if Chef Grant Ackett's can have three stars at Alinea, he surely can at least get one or two stars for next. Sure, um, sure. The, the cuisine is definitely up to Michelin standards, that's for sure. Yeah. And I feel that they got snubbed. My other favorite restaurant that I was so bummed not to see on the list, or at least get a big gourmand, is Carriage yeah. House in Wicker Park. Okay, I heard a lot about it, yeah. It is yeah. absolutely incredible. Chef Mark Stewart is... I mean, the labor that goes into each of his dishes is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I, like his pork shoulder dish, it's like 5,000 hours goes into <laughs> his dish. It's, it's amazing. And uh, well, look, yeah, I hear great things. I mean, the, the bottom line is the food scene in Chicago is as strong as it ever has been and uh, trending upwards, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. It's super hot right now. Right. So. Kelly, it's good to see you. And where can uh, folks find you again? at eTravelRockOut.com. There you go. Very nice. Yep. Kelly, thanks for being here. Thank you. All right. Thanks for having me.